What is up YouTube, Riley White here, back with another MLB The Show 19 video for you guys, and in today's video, going over to my squad right here, we actually, as you guys can probably see in the top right hand corner of the screen, I just hit level 1 diamond, so that means, obviously you guys know, that I get to choose one more 99 overall player, I already have Frank Thomas and Duke Snyder on my team, so I can only choose between uh, 99 Tony Gwen, 99 Brooks Robinson, and 99 Joe Morgan, and you guys can probably already tell who I'm going to be choosing, as you guys can see in the uh, on my squad screen right here. The one position that I do not have a uh, diamond player in is left field. I actually did have Steve Finley here, but I just quick sold him to get uh, another 5,000 stubs. I had him locked in from like the start of the game by accident, so I wasn't able to sell him for the the right amount. But we do have Mac Williamson there right now, so we are going to, I'll be right back actually because I do have to close the application to get the pack. Okay guys, we are back now. I'm able to go open up the pack. I just closed and reopened the app. So I'm going to go open up the pack now. So here it is. Choose one max overall diamond player. Like I said, I already have Frank Thomas and I already have Duke Snyder. Man, I love batting with Duke Snyder. Batting 315 with 46 dings. These are all online stats as well. Frank Thomas, just got him a little bit ago. He was my third choice because I did take, uh, who did I take second? Oh no, I guess he was my second choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so we this will be our third choice right here. So Frank Thomas I took at gold one. So far he's batted pretty good for me. 313 with 17 dingers and 47 RBIs. Um, 23 doubles. This is a lot of Hall of Fame games both of these guys have been on. So their stats are maybe not as good as some people's, but I still consider them to be pretty good. Um, so all I can choose between is Tony Gwen, Joe Morgan, and Brooks Robinson. And as much as I would honestly really enjoy taking Brooks Robinson because of that, I mean, that amazing fielding at third base. I have Eddie Matthews at third base right now, and I have uh, I have Daniel Murphy as my second baseman, and Joe Morgan would be probably an upgrade as well. Actually, he would definitely be an upgrade, even though I, I really enjoy that Daniel Murphy card. Joe Morgan would be an upgrade for sure. But I think I have made up my mind that I am going to be taking 99 overall Tony and Gwen. Probably should have taken him first. I mean... Honestly, he was probably the clear-cut choice out of these packs for a lot of people, but I had Duke Snyder last year. I really enjoy having a powerful left-handed bat on my team, so I decided to go with Duke Snyder, and then I wanted another right-handed batter on my team, so a powerful righty, so I like to have Frank Thomas. Three, four batters on my team, I really enjoy having them too as my three, four, but I'm going to choose Tony Gwen right here, so we're going to put him in my lineup. I'm going to back out here. I'm going to come over here, and I will I will actually replace him, or I'll replace Mac Williamson with him. Um, I believe his fielding does go down. Yeah, so I'm going to actually put him in right, Ichiro in center, and Duke in left. I believe that'll be okay. Um, yeah, 91, 90. I guess Duke's goes down to 80 fielding. All right, I guess I, that's fine. That's fine, honestly. Like... I think that's all right. So we're going to actually, I'm going to edit the lineup here. Um, Tony Gwynn is definitely not batting this far down. I'm going to probably put him leading off as much as I really like Ichiro. Actually, oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I should put, hmm. I have a lot of lefty bats. I have one, two, I, I have five lefty bats on my team. Um, And then I have three lefties on my bench. I don't know because like I like having Eddie batting fifth because if it's a if it's a right-handed uh pitcher then I keep him in but if it's a lefty even though he's better versus left I do not enjoy hitting lefty versus lefty so I usually bring in Nolan Arenado who just actually got a buff and a lot of statistics so uh his his power versus lefties is really really good um his swing is nice his vision just went up not long ago either and he's always playing up either way either side righties or lefties he's always playing up I don't know how to do this lineup, honestly, now that I'm looking at it. I don't know where I should put Ichiro. I have no idea where I should put Ichiro. If I should keep him down at the bottom of the order like this. Man, I don't know. Actually, hmm. I might keep him down at the bottom of the order because I don't want to have... I don't want to have him and Gwen at the top because I have... I like having Trammel bat in second. I really, really like this Trammel card. He's a really good card. Um, honestly, probably an underrated choice in that pack is Alan Trammell's card. Um, Duke Snyder, is uh, he's going to stay my three batter for a while. Frank is going to be my cleanup man. Um, I don't want to put Ichiro fifth. I, he's just not a five batter, I don't think. Unless, like, 
ah, oh, man, unless I do like this and put, I move it like that and put Murphy at the eight. And then that way, if Frank can drive in these runs, then it's almost as if like it's a re restart of the order, like five down. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. This might be how I have it for now. Comment down below what you guys would probably have the lineup because, honestly, I'm not quite sure if that's how I'm going to have it. Uh, the starting Roto is still the same. Just got Justin Verlander a little bit ago. Still got that debut video I got to get uploaded, but I was kind of holding back because I want to do it with my new mic. This, unfortunately, is still not my new mic. I, uh, the post office was closed on the weekend, so I could not go pick it up, but I'm almost 100% certain if it is there by tomorrow that I'll be able to go pick it up tomorrow, so I'll be able to get a video up. Probably the Verlander debut, um, even though it's not really much of a debut, you guys will see in the video what happened and whatnot. The bullpen, I really enjoy all these cards pretty much. Brett Cecil's just there. I don't really even use them, but I mean, I've had a couple other diamonds I've just sold, uh, like Edwin Diaz. I had Edwin Diaz. I quick sold Andrew Miller before uh, he went down to a goal because I did predict that he would go down. Um, but like Kenley holds his ground for sure. I love uh, pitching with Kenley Jansen. Rob Nen is an amazing card. Josh Hader just got him not long ago, so I'm not really quite sure how well he's going to be. Uh, Rich Gossage and Trevor Hoffman, they're really good cards as well. Honestly, the team is looking fine. I mean, everything is perfect. I actually just hit 100 contact. Tony Gwynn put it up to 100 contact. Um, that's actually quite a bit more than what it was. I think it was 94 contacts, which was kind of low. But now it's at 100 contact, 81 power, 63 speed, 77 defense, 94 pitching, and 93 overall team. I think the overall went up as well. Um, actually, I can't even remember. I don't think I actually just, uh, I don't think I quick sold, I don't think I quick sold, uh, what's his face? Yeah, Finley's still here. I'm going to quick sell him. So there's another 5,000 stubs. You guys can see that I am at 38,000 stubs right now. Um, now that I am at level 1 diamond, um, I will show you guys what I can get next to get some more stubs and whatnot. So you guys can see now that I am at diamond level 1, the next, uh, the next reward I get to choose is a diamond equipment item. So hopefully I can get around like eight to 13,000 stubs, which will put me up to almost around 50,000 stubs. Plus at uh, diamond level 10, I get another 8,500 stubs. At 15, I get to choose another one of these guys, and I'm probably going to go with Johnny Bench. I have to replace Mike Piazza. He's just not a good card. In my opinion, that is. He's just not good. Johnny Bench can definitely hold his ground. Even if he doesn't do great with the bat, which, I mean, I've heard mixed mixed feelings about this card. Uh, he's got decent power. Definitely a really good power card. He's really good versus left, um, for sure. His vision is better than Piazza's. But, like I said, if he doesn't do it with the bat, then he'll definitely do it behind the plate, which is something that I find is very valuable uh, with speed being such a big thing this year. Speed is something that is a lot more valuable this year than it was last year when power was such a big thing. Contact speedy players are uh, at least one or two players in everybody's lineup have speed and contact, whether it's Ichiro, whether it's Gwen, whether it's Ricky Henderson, whether it's uh, Trey Turner. You see Trey Turner, Jose Reyes is there sometimes. But uh, Johnny Bench could definitely be able to throw those guys out more times than not. Hopefully that is. With 94 fielding, 94 arm strength, Johnny Bench is going to be really good behind the plate, hopefully. Um, but other than that, the only players that I have left to choose would be Giambi, Ralph Connor, and Matt Kemp. I have every other card in this pack, um, and I really don't want to choose Connor or Kemp. Giambi would be an amazing bench bat he's the only one the only thing is all three of these guys would be all bench cards compared to johnny bench he would be a starter um so yeah at level 15 so we're gonna get quite a few stubs through this 25 i get to choose one of these guys which i will more than likely sell um to get a little more stubs and then at 30 we get a gold equipment item unfortunately 35 another one of these guys which i don't know who i'm gonna choose 40 audio unlockable Another 8,500 stubs right here, which is pretty clutch. Uh, at 50, we get another one of these guys. So we're going to be racking up the stubs so much through diamond level. And I'm going to be, I think it's safe to say that by the time I am probably level 10, I will have the Brewers collection done because the only card I need left is Christian Yelich. Like I said, I'm at 38,000 now. All I need is another 12,000. Once I level up three and I have a little bit more times, um, then I'll be able to get. Uh, I'll be able to get hopefully 12,000 to get to buy Christian Yelich 
And then after that, the only cards I need on the Cubs, like I need a couple of these little guys that aren't really very expensive. Kyle Schwarber's there. Uh, we got a bronze. Um, Kyle Hendricks, Jose Quintana, Ben Zobers, Brandon Morrow. But I still need Chris Bryant and Javi Baez. And Baez is 31K, so his price is actually going down. Wow, that's actually good. And Chris Bryant is only 22K, so I do need to save up a little more for them too. And like these other little guys here. And uh, after that, we will be able to get Rogers Hornsby on the team. I just thought at the start of the season that I was going to... At first, I was like, okay, I'm never going to be able to get Pudge. I'm never going to be able to get Rogers. I'm never going to get Willie Mays. But because I don't really spend money on the game, like I've said before, and I know I say this in every video, but I don't, I haven't spent any money on the game besides 20 bucks. Um, so, like... Grind, I've just grinded for all these cards. I've grinded for stubs. I've used I've used it efficiently. Um, I've pulled a couple diamonds that I've sold for good stubs to work towards other cards. Um, but that's how I've got Rob Nen and Eddie Matthews on my team. And I will soon have Jim Edmonds. And I will soon have Rogers Hornsby. I really don't have any plans on getting uh, Pudge for my team. But uh, it, just because I... Mm, I don't know. Pudge is... I mean, look at those stats. Those are not good stats. And that's from Battle Royale. That is from Battle Royale. I don't even want to look at it. And honestly, Willie Mays is not too appealing either because I have not heard anything good about this card. I, I No, I've heard good things about it. But honestly, some of the best players in the world don't even use Willie Mays because he's he's just he doesn't hit for what his stats show. He doesn't he's not what his stats show. His batting stance is kind of wonky. It's just a little weird. Um, he's just not as good as some people may make him out to be. Uh, Rogers Hornsby is honestly like I've heard the same thing about Hornsby, but I think Rogers Hornsby would be an amazing card to have. I mean, I'm definitely going to throw him at second base. His fielding might be a little worse than like Joe Morgan, but uh, or Roberto Alomar, but that those batting stats are definitely going to be able to make up for it. I mean, 125. He's pretty much a boosted Tony Gwynn with batting stats. Uh, he's got power. He's a power Tony Gwynn. 125, 125 contact, 125 vision. With 94 and 99 power, this card is amazing, I think. Haven't really had much uh, usage for him in BR. I'm only 2 for 10. Uh, I mean, not really much at all. I probably wasn't even really using him that much. Um, actually, he's in my BR draft right now. So, actually... Um, so, yeah, I guess the... I guess other than that, I think that's going to conclude this video. I just thought I'd show you guys who I'm going to put on my team. Decided to go with Tony Tony Gwen as my one, two, three, uh, four. How many signatures is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth signature on my team. I did not expect to have this many at this early in the game. Honestly, like it's the content that they've dropped this year has been amazing. It's been superior. Like the content has been better than any other MLB game I think I've ever seen. There's so many good cards there. There's so many st there's so much stuff you can do. Moments, Battle Royale, Rank Seasons rewards. This the rewards are amazing this early in the season. Like we just got like you get headliners packs all the time that just have signature series upon signatures. Uh there's flawless signature series cards. You can the, the third inning program that everyone's working on. Uh there's daily missions always there. The events come out quite a bit. New conquest maps here and there. Uh, there's so much stuff you can do in this game. XP reward path is amazing. Team affinities. There's so much stuff. Collections. Uh, everything. Packs. The pack odds are higher this year than they've ever been. I mean, this game This game has been amazing, and I really do enjoy it. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's probably going to conclude this video. I know I kind of rambled on a little bit there, but I thought I'd just let you guys know that I was going to get Tony Gwen. I pulled him in that pack. Uh, I didn't really pull him. I guess I chose him. But we got him on the squad, so now we have 399s on the starting lineup. Hopefully, I think the next card I'm probably going to be able to get is probably going to be Johnny Bench to replace Piazza, who Piazza is the, my worst batter, my worst batter by far. Uh, other than that, I think this is going to con conclude this video for the fourth time, I think I've said. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Get set, go. Take off.